Pierce Butler March 17, 1866, to November 16, 1939, was an American jurist who served as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States from 1923 until his death in 1939. He is notable for being the first justice from Minnesota, and for being a Democrat appointed by a Republican president, Warren G. Harding. Early life and education Butler was born to Patrick and Mary Ann Butler, Catholic immigrants from County Wicklow, Ireland. The pair met in Galena, Illinois, after having left the same part of Ireland because of the Irish potato famine. Soon, the couple settled in Scioto, then Waterford, Dakota County, Minnesota. Their son Pierce Butler was the sixth of nine children born in a log cabin, all but his sister would live to adulthood. Butler graduated from Carleton College, where he was a member of Phi Kappa Psi fraternity. He read for the law and was admitted to the bar in 1888. He married Annie M. Cronin in 1891. Topic career He was elected as county attorney in Ramsey County in 1892, and re-elected in 1894. Butler joined the law firm of Howe and Eller in 1896, which became Howe and Butler after the death of Homer C. Eller the following year. He accepted an offer to practice in St. Paul, Minnesota, where he took care of railroad-related litigation for James J. Hill. He was highly successful in representing railroads. In 1905 he returned to private practice and rejoined Jared Howe. He had also served as a lawyer for the company owned by his five brothers. In 1908, Butler was elected president of the Minnesota State Bar Association. From 1912 to 1922, he worked in railroad law in Canada, alternately representing the shareholders of railroad companies and the Canadian government. He produced favorable results for both. When he was nominated for the United States Supreme Court in 1922, Butler was in the process of winning approximately $12 million for the Toronto Street Railway shareholders. Topic: <laughs> Nomination and confirmation. Although he was supported by Chief Justice and former President William Howard Taft, Butler's opposition to «radical» and «disloyal» professors at the University of Minnesota where he had served on the Board of Regents made him a controversial Supreme Court nominee when proposed by Republican President Warren Harding. The senator-elect Henrik Shipstead of his home state opposed him, as did the progressive senator Robert M. La Follette Sr. of Wisconsin. Also against his confirmation were labor activists, some liberal magazines The New Republic and the Nation and the Ku Klux Klan because he was Catholic. However, with the support of prominent Roman Catholics, fellow lawyers the Minnesota State Bar Association strongly endorsed him, and business groups especially railroad companies, as well as Minnesota's other Senator Newt Nelson, Butler was confirmed on December 21, 1922, by a margin of 61 to 8. The senators who voted against him were five Democrats Walter F. George, William J. Harris, J. Thomas Heflin, Morris Shepard, and Park Trammell and three Republicans Robert M. La Follette Sr., Peter Norbeck, and George W. Norris. He took his seat on the court on January 2, 1923. <laughs> court service As an associate justice, Butler vigorously opposed regulation of business and the implementation of welfare programs by the federal government as unconstitutional. During the Great Depression, he ruled against the constitutionality of many New Deal laws the Agricultural Adjustment Administration and the National Recovery Administration which had been supported by his fellow Democrat Franklin Roosevelt. This earned him a place among the so called Four Horsemen which also included James Clark McReynolds, George Sutherland, and Willis Van Devanter. During his 16 years on the bench, Justice Butler authored 327 majority opinions as well as 50 eloquent minority opinions. On November 15, 1939, Butler went into the hospital for a minor ailment, but died in the early morning hours of November 16. He wrote the majority opinion six to three in United States v. Schwimmer, in which the Hungarian immigrant's application for citizenship was denied because of her candid refusal to take an oath to take up arms for her adopted country. In Palco v. 
Connecticut, Butler was the lone dissenter on the court, the rest of the justices believed that a state was not restrained from trying a man a second time for the same crime. Butler believed this violated the Fourteenth Amendment to the United States Constitution, he sided with the majority in Pierce v. Society of Sisters, holding unconstitutional an Oregon state law which prohibited parents from sending their children to private or religious schools, in the 1927 decision for Buck v. Bell, Butler was the only justice who dissented from the 8-1 ruling and Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr.'s opinion holding that the forced sterilization of an allegedly feeble-minded woman in Virginia was constitutional. Holmes believed that Butler's religion influenced his thinking in Buck, remarking that Butler knows this is good law, I wonder whether he will have the courage to vote with us in spite of his religion. Although Butler dissented in both Buck and Palco, he did not write a dissenting opinion in either case. The practice of a justice's noting a dissent without opinion was much more common then than it would be in the later 20th and early 21st centuries. Another consequential dissent was from the opinion expressed in Olmsted v. United States, which upheld federal wiretapping. He took an expansive view of Fourth Amendment protections. Topic: <laughs> Death and Legacy. Butler died in Washington D.C. at the age of 73 while still on the court. He is buried in Calvary Cemetery in St. Paul. Justice Butler is one of 13 Catholic justices, of 113 total justices in the history of the Supreme Court. 40.5 cubic feet, 1.15 cubic meters of his and his family's collected papers are with the Minnesota Historical Society. Other papers are collected elsewhere. Pierce Butler Root in St. Paul, Minnesota, is named in honor of Butler. See also List of Justices of the Supreme Court of the United States List of Law Clerks of the Supreme Court of the United States List of U.S. Supreme Court Justices by Time in Office United States Supreme Court Cases during the Hughes Court United States Supreme Court Cases during the Taft Court Topic. Bibliography equals 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 footnotes. <laughs>